This is my second clip concerning American politics. Now I want to look at some facts of how American elections are run. Yes, at how electoral elections in the United States. <coughs> now, there are elections on a state-by-state -state basis, but I'm only going to cover the federal elections for now. The first question I would like to address is why only Republican and Democrat? Why only two parties? And here is and uh, and here is why. They call it a uh, two-party system. But, frankly, I do consider the two-party dictatorship. They have very anti-democratic methods. Now, why only Republican and Democrat? Again, I must ask. Well, the system is designed to get everybody from every political persuasion to join one of the two parties. Every, everyone has several different views. The system is, before the general election between the Republican and the Democrat, and any third party that gets enough signatures, but um, before the general election between the Republican and the Democrat, there's a primary. Sometimes it's a blanket primary, so Democrats and Republicans together compete against each other. Sometimes it's just the Republican primary and the Democratic primary. People of different political persuasions participate in the first round. Now, regardless if you're a progressive or a conservative, if you get the nomination in the primary, you're the candidate in the general election. Now, so many, all these congressmen all around the, in the United States Congress all have wide ranges of different views because they were all selected through primaries where people of different political persuasions campaigned to become the candidate for the, for the general election. So they, while they call it a two-party system, some would say it's a disguise for a hundred-party system. The main reason why there is only Republican and Democrat, one, uh, the main reason actually, is because in the United States there is strict ballot access laws. You must have this amount of signatures, you must have a campaign office here, 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 they, all these complicated rules that I cannot get into greater detail. You must have this percentage of the popular vote in the last election to be called a party instead of a political entity or something. Whatever. I don't know the jargon there. They make all these, they make it extremely difficult for third parties and independents to make it on the ballot. Very difficult. This is what I find anti-democratic. And, and the people of the United States put up with it. I don't understand. So, there's the ballot access laws. And then, now, each state has its own electoral laws. Uh, it's on a state-by-state -state basis. Some uh, election, some have two, two rounds, like a runoff, if someone doesn't get an absolute majority when a third party does make it on the ballot. Um, some, some have that blanket primary, as I said, some just have simple primaries. Uh, and all sorts of thing, rules. Each, each state has its own law, electoral laws. It's on a state-by-state -state basis. I 
wholeheartedly agree with that. It's after all the United States of America, not the Republic of America, the People's Republic of America. <laughs> However, there was one unfair legislation which passed, which came from the federal government. In 1967, they banned proportional representation all over the country. Proportional representation was made illegal in 1967. Now, while I am against proportional representation, I'm against it. I disagree with this because it what well, it should be done on a state by state basis. So this was unfair of the US Congress to do this in 1967. Ban all the states rights to decide how they elect their politicians even if it be proportional representation. I believe that is a state right. But the main reason, uh, well, I already mentioned the main reason, but here is, I was wrong the first time. I said the main reason was ballot access laws. I was wrong just a moment ago, okay? I, I concede that. The main reason why there is only Republican and Democrats, Republican and Democrat, is money. Which I will get to in a moment, which I will which I have to discuss in a second here. Republicans and Democrats can fund really big campaigns and they have all the media coverage and they have the money for eh, to sp spread their message out while smaller parties don't. The big two big parties have all the money. That's why third parties cannot compete against them all about money. Which brings me to my next point, actually. The politics of money. Here is why American politics is so, so, so dysfunctional. And here is why Congress and the President are so despised by everyone. It's all about the money. In the United States, there is no laws concerning how much money you can spend for a political campaign. And there is no law saying you must disclose who is giving you the money. So when people, so when bit, so when the rich give the money to the politicians, the politicians only do the bidding of the person who gives them the most money. This is why American politics, American government is so inefficient. This is why politicians get the money and they do, and who, and they do the bidding of whoever pays them the highest bid. Whether it be for the government to do nothing or less, which is the conservative and libertarian point of view, the government does not interfere, the person has to pay them to not interfere. And when the government does step in, it's because the rich pay them to do their bit, to take action to, that benefits them, not the working cl class not the working class, not the middle class. The government only takes action that benefits the wealthy. So, this gives the excuse to extreme right-wing teabaggers, as I mentioned in my previous video, this gives them ammunition. Whenever the government does something, it is not to the benefit of the poor. And then they point out and say, see, government doesn't work. It doesn't work because they're not putting their money in. They're not um, taking action to help everyday, hardworking, 
middle and work middle and working class people they're only doing things that benefit the rich so the government does nothing because the rich pay them to the government does something because the rich pay them to but i'm getting repetitive here and then the right wing says see whenever the government does something it's not to the it's not to our benefit so government is the problem government is not working because it's not prioritizing correctly it's because there is just too much money in politics. This is the difference in Europe, for example, or in other parts of the, or in other democracies around the world. Politicians can only accept limited donations or must accept money from the government uh, or must accept um, public funds for their campaign. They have limited spending allowed. In the United States, it's unlimited. In, in the Netherlands, for example, while, while the Netherlands does have its own problems, but in the Netherlands, for example, you may not even go to fundraisers or accept any gifts from anyone. Politicians can only accept public funds to fund their campaigns. So everyone is on equal footing with sending out their message. This is why American politics is so dysfunctional. Money. If there's anything the United States needs right now, it's campaign finance reform. Now, I want to cover presidential elections, but I think I'm running out of time, so I think I'll do three clips.